Hey everybody, it's Cole with Long Range Tactics. On today's vlog episode, um, I'm going to go over something we've been talking about a little bit, you know, through the group and, you know, on the podcast and different things. But I want to talk about truck guns. Um, everybody kind of has a little bit different take on what a truck gun is, um, you know, and I kind of want to go through what I'm going to build next for another truck gun that I'm going to do. Um, but I want to go over a couple of the options that people would consider truck guns. Um, first is the 22. Um, everybody, you know, throws one of these in the back seat. They're quiet, they're cheap to shoot, everything else. This one's a azimuth built with a proof and everything. So it's, it's on a little bit higher end of a 1022 truck gun that you'd want to just throw around and bounce around in your truck. Um, you know, it, it's, it's a great little package. It's short, you can maneuver it quick, but it doesn't have a lot of power for you coyote hunters and stuff like that. So maybe you want to move up. Um, this is something that I put together that can beat around in the truck and I don't feel too bad about it. Uh, it's just a Howa 1500, uh, 223. I've done a few little upgrades to, to really, you know, make it better at shooting at coyotes and different things. So it's a good little truck, a uh, little truck gun. You know, I, I'm not as sad about beating it up in the truck. Um, next is a lot of you I know have ARs, depending on, you know, how short it is, if it's a pistol configuration like this is, or an SBR, or, you know, something else. This one's in 300 blackout. Uh, it's a great little freaking cartridge. I love the blackouts. They got a lot of power, but they're not long range. Um, so that brings me into uh, this next. Uh, build that I'm going to do and I wanted to kind of bring you guys all into it. Now. This is the first installment of it Now we're working with MDT MDT did send this to me um, You know to, to try and do something like this like I kind of talked to him. And I said hey, I want to build a really short suppressed uh, Quote-unquote long-range rifle, you know that might have a little bit more punch than the 223, but I still want to build it short um, You know not a long barrel so that I can still throw a suppressor on it, different things. Um, I kind of picked this chassis just because the fore end's real short. Um, it, it gives you the availability for the butt stock. I chose this butt stock, which is a folder. I love the folders because you can always, you know, hide them easier underneath the seat or um, it just stores out of the way a lot better. So with this uh, MDT that I'm gonna build on, uh, this is gonna be part one. I'm gonna kind of go over you know, some of the options and different things, but I kind of want to have all of you help me along the way with maybe what I should build. Um, now, I still haven't fully decided on an action yet. I'm waiting to, to kind of make that decision. I've got a, a couple actions in the safe that I should probably build off of it, but we'll see. But, um, you know, with the ability to adjust this how I need um, and make real, real, uh, quick shots to be able to, you know, get it out, out of the truck and, and maybe make a shot on a Kyle or something like that. But, um, you know, I guess the question is what caliber should I choose? Uh, I've been asking it a lot, you know, six Creed, um, you know, another two, two, three, which I've got a few of them. I don't need another one of those. Um, what caliber should I build it out of? Now, there's a few things that you've got to think of when you're going to build this. Um, overall, Velocity, of course. You start cutting down the barrel, we all know you're gonna lose velocity and you lose quite a bit after you hit a certain point. So if I want to build an ultra shorty, you know, like a 10 or a 12 or a 14, you know, something like that, what would you all choose? Uh, let us know in the comments below. Again, this is the first edition of it. Um, and let us know what your truck guns are. We're always interested in, you know, learning and feedback from all of you. So this again is the first episode. Watch for the next episode where we kind of go through some of the other options. Um, again, thank you all for watching. Ask your questions below. Um, you know, if you have something that you want us to cover on the vlog, as always, let us know. Team at longrangetactics.com or message us on social media. We're always really uh, quick to respond usually. So again, thanks for watching. Until next time, see ya.